Are you a scientist now? When you develop things at MIT, does that make you a scientist? Oh, I don't know. So, I, I did. Are you going to be working with them on artificial intelligence? Or, all kinds or, of things. So yeah. the lab is, I don't know, I, I, my feelings of just, I just came back from there. We did this brain-mind study stuff. You know, they're growing these brains at organoids at like 48 at a time or something on these little dishes, amazing stuff. Yeah. And so I was cruising through the lab, and it's something like a like walking through a mall in a sense, where uh -huh. sort of glass do glass shops and different. They're all doing something different. Yeah. These guys are working on prosthetics, or these guys are studying sleep patterns with gadgets that connect to help you dive into sleep. And I, I, w I think they want to bring in people who have an analytic capacity yet who have done a lot of different varied things in regular life. Yeah. See so things from a different perspective. Yeah. yeah. And who are better able possibly to integrate some of the more. Um, otherwise, separate ventures of what they're doing, find connections. How do you get this, give this wheels in a sense, perhaps? Yeah. I don't know. I, it doesn't really start until July for me. Yeah. So I'm going to go live there for a month and a half pretty soon. And it's a two year appointment. And that'd be cool. I'm looking forward to that it. That is amazing. Yeah. Maybe afterwards you can come back and tell us what you guys came uh, up I'd with. I'd love to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.